So this is going to be a video explaining why the cultivator class is better than the herder class for, you know, farm accounts. Um, and this is my farm account. I have uh, another account that's like 5 mil about. And first I'll just show you, you know, the kind of loot my main account be getting. So it's like 1 mil, uh, you know, this one's not bad, 1 mil, again, more 1 mil, um, the latest one, 800k uh etc so that's just to show it this works um now f as for the class people usually said herder was better because of this where when you get attacked you get um i think it's more resources each attack uh but instead this is better because of the gathering buff and the resource factory both of those are you know just produce more resources altogether and they also pointed at this saying, you know, it's the exact opposite, you get less resources. But as you upgrade your depots, say you have like 6 mil depots, 2 mil is going to be like protected. You can't raid that with your main. Um, but this really doesn't matter if you have full depots. So, you know, you can just ignore that and you just got buffs all around. Um, so now, also, furthermore, um, maybe in the it was argued that like in the early levels that herders are better because of that um but since the the raider nerf there's been like you can't attack queens that are lower level and get you know a good amount of resources so it's better just to upgrade your thing you know your queen as much as you can and you know get your depots up um, so what you're going to upgrade is, you know, obviously your collectors and uh, just a little bit, just enough for uh, your gathering so you can gather all night and whatnot, you know, for your echelons. Uh, but also, you know, the war zone construction completely benefits freaking uh, this. Like for the class feature, uh, I can show you right here. It's just gathering buffs. Um, you know wet soil gathering it, it's just it's just great for more resources with no buffs at all if you do upgrade your queen 